Greetings. It is Monday, July 17th, and welcome back to Co Show Live, streaming on Facebook and YouTube. Please help us out, Venmo at Co Show Live. If you like what you see, we'd appreciate it. It's time to get started. Abados, show us what you got.
Thank you, everybody. Sorry, I don't have anything to say after that. <laughs>
That last song was called Solarize. It's one of our oldest, if not. It is our oldest, that is our oldest song. It might be the first song I ever wrote. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, 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 that's an interesting little fact. This next song is called Story of a Witch.
thank you from for the woos. Thank you to the people tuning in. I feel like I have to get a tattoo now or something like. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, shout out to uh, Scott Stenser of Studio New Earth Recording. Uh, he uh, recorded the CP that we're playing for you tonight. Um, he did a really great job helping us produce this. And uh, he deserves to hear that. You should call Studio North if you need help. You definitely should. He's very good.
fellas that was amazing uh go ahead grab a drink or something uh well while, while you do that uh let me talk a little bit about something i thought about as you guys were playing um one of the things that that you had said when i asked you to describe your own music one of the words you used was nostalgic and it's interesting because i felt that and uh and yet i also felt there's so much new also not just classic stuff you know but 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 nostalgia and uh so so that was really fun but in my i kept thinking like well what is it nostalgic of like what are what are bands i can think of that that are are feeding my nostalgia of 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 what i'm hearing and i couldn't totally figure it out so like what what do you guys uh what are you guys into if you're calling it nostalgic what's what's the nostalgia yeah, I think it's important for us to, uh, as much as we love playing music, we love listening to music um, as well. So a lot of that comes from a lot of System of a Down back in the day, for sure. Shout out System of a Down. So um, much. A lot of classic, like Slipknot. Okay, yeah, um, sure. A lot of Tool influence, Opeth influence. Okay, I can hear the Tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. shout out, shout yeah. out Opeth, uh, for sure. I'm also like a real big, you know, classic Rush fan, and I started playing okay. on Zeppelin when sure. I really first started, so there's a lot of that in, inside of me as well. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Um, so I want to talk a little bit uh, uh, about your first EP, Log Entry 1, and I think you played at least some material from that tonight, right? The entirety of it. The entirety yeah, of it. Yeah, that was the whole EP, yeah. Start <laughs> okay, to finish, start yeah. To finish. So uh, when did you release that? And That came out November 1st of last year. Okay, so it's pretty new, actually, yeah. Yes. And uh, what's it all about? Go ahead. Uh, this is yours. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, Log Entry 1 is, like, how it started was I took a bunch of songs and riffs from old music mm -hmm. and basically played in a basement with these guys for about two years, sure. rewriting and producing all the songs I had. And also the pandemic hit, so we and had extra time. Yeah, that's true, too. That's true, too. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just been a lot of basement work with okay, a lot of the sure. stuff I had already written. It was sort of like this, this un, unborn thing. Like it never happened. Mm -hmm. The songs needed to exist for me creatively. So I had to do them. Uh, and these gentlemen have helped me more than I could have imagined. Um, the collaboration production producing that we all do with each other is, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. You guys sound great. Um, and Thank also, uh, I think you're working on a new LP, right? Uh, we're trying to uh, work towards the full length. Okay. To, you yeah. know, put out there. We want something 
a fair bit longer than what we've already put out. Sure. And if it, in terms of, say, the evolution from log entry one to that, you know, do you feel like you've sort of know each other even better now and are, and are ready to really, like... Well, first and foremost, we used to be a four-piece. I used to play guitar, and uh, we reintroduced... Uh, well, we introduced, oh, sorry, yeah. uh, Chris uh, Thayer. He, he, he just joined the band. This beautiful man came in and saved me from having to hold an instrument anymore, which is great, because I am not very good, and he is awesome. He, he didn't nice, come in and nice. play a show with us when he started. He went and played four this weekend. This is his first time <laughs> <Yeah. event> with us. <laughs> Yeah, like, like, yeah, I'll go to Ohio with you guys, sure. We had to sure. put them through the gig simulator. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that speaks volumes of his abilities and just commitment to trying to come on board. This is really awesome. There's a lot of um, creative similarities, mm -hmm. and that's been rare for me as a guitar player, to find a guitar player that, like, there's a vibe. Sure. It's, it's hard to find. Yeah. And we as a, agree with that. And we as a band, we're, we're young enough that we're, we're still trying to, like, fully define what it is that we want to do. Mm -hmm. we're, we're working towards trying to, like, fine-tune where we will take ourselves in the future. Sure. So. Well, you guys definitely have to shoot your shot because you guys are pretty fucking oh, good. Oh, we are. Thank you very much. Appreciate um, it. Yeah, so I wanted to talk a bit then. Uh, you have some shows coming up, right? Uh, Sonar Fest, right? We got Sonar Fest coming up August 4th. It's a Friday. Halftime sports bar in Newark. Come catch us. I mean, all the bands playing are pretty sick. Um, so definitely come out for the whole thing. But um, we do go on a bit later, around like the 10 o'clock spot. So should be fun. It's it's a two-day festival, yes? It is a two-day festival, yes. Right. There's a whole day Saturday. To, I think they start at like 1 o'clock. They go to like 10. It's awesome. It's a perfect opportunity to check out some you know awesome bands. A great weekend. Yeah, actually, one of our bands last week, the Low Sundays, they're playing there, too. Oh, you should awesome. Definitely... Yeah, we played a show with them. Okay, before, yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Shout out Hangman Brewing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Hangman. Yeah, that that place is awesome. an awesome right. spot, by the way, yeah. All right, so uh, before I let you guys go, I want to take you in here in the, uh, the Malone Zone here. We'll talk about something weird. All right. Hit us with it. So when I was, uh, when I was getting into you guys online... Um, you know, Abydos, I kind of like searched it on, you know, all over the place and followed your links and stuff. But also like all of a sudden I'm down this rabbit hole to the city of Abydos in Egypt, right? Correct. It's this ancient city that has like a necropolis or maybe more than one. Uh, folklore has it that the head of Osiris has been um, put in a tomb there and a recent excavation recovered 2,000 mummified ram heads. Like, that was in, like, March, right? Yeah. So that's pretty metal, huh? Right? Yeah, yeah dude. That's, okay. Honestly, that's, like, part of the reason why we named the band Abydos is because I saw those articles and was like, holy crap. <laughs> but it has to be Abydos. But the truth of the matter is... I was uh, I was watching Stargate SG One at the time. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> shout out Stargate. All right, all right. Shout out Stargate. And the movie Stargate, not Stargate SG One, but the movie when they go to the new planet, the planet is named Abydos. Mm. So that's really where it came from. And then I looked it up, and then I saw all those Egypt things and the weird ram's heads, and was like, ooh. Okay. Yeah. Metal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Worth a rewatch. I do like Kurt Russell, so. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a good, good Let's movie. go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's good. You guys have uh, any parting shots before we uh, go to inter just, intermission? Just on the on the on the fact of the name, we did go through so many. There were so many. <laughs> oh, it was right. a long process. There was so many lists. <laughs> Were they all just like different like necropolises or something? No, I mean <laughs> No, we were trying to find a band name that was like, you know, enigmatic enough that it would work sure. for Some a band. Were just name. Sounds. They were just sounds, not even words, just sounds. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean like the, the the number of letters mattered, what letters we used, you know, it was we were we were very how, how long did it take? Oh dude, like over a year and a half. Okay. Talking months yeah, on, I'm pretty months sure it took me that long once yeah, too. With, with I mean, my band like we were so, deciding uh, to come it. up with a band name like it. early pandemic, and then it mm -hmm. wasn't until like the end of that year that we were like fully on. It's almost like it's like you know working with people musically, and and when you have a vibe with them, you know, it's like how are we so in tune with like our music, 
but we disagree on band names so bad. We almost had. That it's we almost like, were dead. How could bit, we be? We, yeah, no, how could no, we no, be no, creatively no, it's, similar? It's we almost words don't do justice. We we. we justice. <laughs> all right. So on that, we almost went with literally <laughs> bitcode. <laughs> we were literally gonna go with like zeros and ones and shit. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, that would have that would have thrown me a curveball tonight. I'd be like, I mean, we, we just didn't want to be that like niche. Like, like we wanted this, to at least be this enough. Binary code. <laughs> Eventually, we'll get there. We want to we want to self titled first. Cool. <laughs> Listen, if you're using Chat B GPT, yeah. you're just not intelligent enough to do it right. <laughs> Parting shots, yep. Parting well, shots. Thank you so much, Abydos. It was amazing. Woo! Stick around. We got Gentle Jones coming Thanks up so next. Much. Gentle Jones. Great being here. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah. Right on. Yes, that was so awesome. Thank you. Thanks for all. Right. Do you need my music? Hell yeah, yeah dude. Oh, you're good. I'm going to turn you around. You're all good. Great. Two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn the sound on it back on. This is a <laughs>